everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am doing my second drill with me for this beautiful uh, partial special diamond. Um, it's a woman with the butterflies and it's so, so beautiful. I've sped it up um, just times two, not anything super fast, but um, I thought it'd probably be nicer to go back to closer to my 20 to 30 minute videos instead of the last one, which was, um, I believe just under an hour. So we'll see how it goes. As always, let me know if you prefer one versus the other. This is not sped up super fast like some of my other ones are. I know, Kingsley. Sorry, my cat is being very talkative. Come here, buddy. Aw, hey, Kingsley. He's a good boy. He's getting old. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, if there's anything, I know, bud, calm down. If there's anything that you guys uh, like, you don't like, please let me know. I am more than happy to tweak um, my setup. This is, I did a pretty good job, actually. I recorded this on uh, YouTube, and unlike some of my other ones that are constantly out of focus, I think I did a really, really good job of keeping my hand far enough away, especially for how close up it is, which I really, really like. I mean, it's a little annoying to have to keep uh, changing where I am, but oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. And I love the painting so, so much. And I think just up close and personal with these, um, these special drills is just, oh, and it's so pretty. I love it so much. I am actually right now working on, uh, well, I finished this one. I will put the next video up. Um, depending on the responses I get, it is an hour and it is the complete rest of it. Let me know if you would like it sped up or if you want it just regular time. I will be voicing that one over as well just because I was watching TV while I was working uh, because I wasn't sure what to talk about. And <laughs> I really do like to have background noise while I'm working and it helps me go faster. And I love, love this painting so much that I really wanted to concentrate on it more than talking. And oh my gosh, you guys, this is probably top two, at least top three favorite diamond paintings I have ever done. I did not think that I was gonna be this huge fan of these partials, but oh my goodness, oh, it's just so pretty. And this particular one is just so well done in what is, um, what is diamond painted versus what isn't. Some of them, um, I, I've spent a lot of time going through and looking at all the options and most of them, I really, I really don't like at all. Kingsley, shush, buddy. I'm doing something. I don't know if you can hear him. He's getting hungry, but you're going to have to wait, buddy. I'm busy. Um, a lot of them I just don't like. I don't like the parts that they're doing for it, the parts they're not doing for it. It just, I don't know. I'm super, super, super picky. And... Um, I mean, for the work that it is, they can be pretty expensive in comparison, depending on where you get them from. I ordered mine off of AliExpress, but I had it shipped from the U.S. So it came in, I think it was 11 days. The shipping was eh, but I mean, still, I'll take 11 days to six or seven weeks. <laughs> Uh, and it was, I think, uh, 525 or 550 for shipping. So really, actually, not that much. Really not that much at all. It shipped USPS, which for the package, I mean, they shipped it first class. It's probably three, just over three dollars, which is still fine. Take your overhead, whatever. Um, but I digress. <laughs> Um, my one thing I found so interesting about this one is which colors went with which symbols. 
because I haven't done it yet, but if you look at those orange X's, that's actually blue. And I had to keep checking my chart to make sure that I was doing it correctly because it just kind of tripped me up how different the uh, symbol colors were to the symbols. And actually, oh my gosh, speaking of that, I have a... Um, I'm putting it on Instagram somewhat. I'm not recording any of it. I'm really just doing it to decompress for fun. Um, I got two on sale cheap diamond paintings off Amazons of cats. Off Amazons. Off Amazon. <laughs> um, and they're both cats. Um, it's three cats sitting on a tree branch looking at the moon and then one cat sitting on a tree branch looking at the moon. And if you look at my Instagram, um, my picture, the uh, profile picture, it is actually, I think it, it has to be the same set, but it's one just like that of two cats and it's very yin and yang-ish, as in one cat has more of like the setting, so like the sun side of it, so the yellow and the orange and you know, the purple into, you know, the darker blue versus the other side, which is black and blue and a little, little bit of green. And the sun side has a white cat and the night side has a black cat. And it's super cute. I really love it. It's one of my absolute favorites. Is it super detailed? No, not at all. And it took me maybe two days to do, but it was so fun. It's so relaxing. It's a circle drill or round drill. I always want to call them circle drills. Um, it's round drills, which after doing giant um, square drill projects, it's really nice to just do mindless, very, very simple projects. It just kind of clears my head a little bit. It takes the monotony out of it, especially the smaller ones. I mean, they're not going to be as crazy. Um, they're not going to be as crazy detailed, but they also, um, they're just relaxing. I'm not worrying about, oh gosh, are these going to fit together? This one's not completely straight. So when I try and put the drills in next to it, it's not going to stick. It's going to be popping out. And it's just, and you can see the entire picture while you're doing it because it doesn't have the white protective cover. Mm, excuse me, it has the clear plastic. And especially after doing this one, I was like, oh my gosh, I really, I need, I need some rounds in my life. I need some simple to do rounds. So two 30 by 40s is great. I am working on my son's, um, I'm working on my son's custom Pokemon one I had made for him, which is, it's in 60 by 80, 70 by 80. It has to, I believe it's a 60 by 80. So not massive, but you know, not a small one that you do in a weekend. <laughs> Um, oh, these drills are so, so pretty. I love these ones. It's so hard to see, but they're more of, um, it's more of a sheen op opaque. Is that the word? A uh, very, uh, oil spill looking, um, look to it. And oh gosh, they're so, so, so pretty. I love them so much. Um, they of course didn't really come with numbers. I don't believe it's, um, like it just said one <laughs> on the packaging. I don't believe it had an actual like number number to it. Let me see. I think actually I think some of them do. So that was see I actually have the drills right next to me. Okay, it was number ten on the painting. It is three ten A B. And it is such a such a pretty color. Like I said, like oil spill kind of looking. Like if you've ever seen oil in water when the sun hits it and it's just got all the different colors as you look at it from different angles. Um, as far as which color is my favorite, I mean, I love all of them. The blue, which is that X color, is um, uh, 195, and it is such a pretty light blue color, but I'm really partial. I love purple, which would be the uh, 102. And oh gosh, it's so pretty. I love it. I've kept all of them in their different bags. Um, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. 
I don't know. I mean, I guess I could just keep them. I, I ordered some more of these, and we'll see when I get them how it looks as far as matching colors, non-matching colors. Is it worth keeping them? Is it not worth keeping them? And oh my gosh, look, so this is the special ones. They're pearls. Oh, and they're so pretty. And once again, it's got that um, opal-y color to them. And I think it's really pretty at least. And my only problem with it is there were a lot of um, discolored ones. They had like black dots on the top of them. There was one that just had like, it was white on the very top, like there was no sheen to it. So that was definitely not my favorite. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. There was more than enough, well, there was enough, I should say, of them to do the uh, diamond painting which uh, without having to put a messed up one on. And, you know, you just kind of make do with what you've got. I'm kind of a perfectionist. Nobody else would notice. There are like these tiny, tiny little dots. And other than, I mean, almost every set had a color that wasn't supposed to be in it in its bag. But I mean, come on, that's just nitpicking at that point. <laughs> there really was not a crazy amount of um, defective ones. And um, the few that there were, were even some of them were really not that bad. And because once again, it's a round, it's not square and it's a partial, not a full. If something is off a little bit, you're just not going to notice. It's not going to mess the painting up. You're not going to have a whole bunch of problems. And in a second here, it is going to cut and I will be right back because I had to stop and the lighting will also be changing. So I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back for the second part of this drill with me. The lighting is different because I had to keep working on it, but it was well past the sun setting. So this is the lighting in my basement, which actually, I mean, that's pretty good <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, gosh, that blue color is so pretty, isn't it? But it's so trippy to me that they're orange or yeah, they're orange X's in a, a yellow, um, with a yellow background for this bright, beautiful blue color. <laughs> oh, it's just kind of funny to me. It's the same with the, um, the one you can see with the triangle in the upper right corner that's blue. I forget which color that is. That might be the purple, I wanna say. I think it might be the purple. But it's funny, the symbols do not match up perfectly with um, <laughs> <laughs> what they're supposed to be going down with, which is perfectly fine. Oh, but speaking of that, so I started to tell the story and I got completely sidetracked. Um, I got two um, round drills and they're 30 by 40s. They're beautiful. I love them. They came as a set. The only problem is I put them under some heavy boxes and one of the sides got crinkled on one of them, so then I had to put it back under, put it flat, uh, because it had just gotten bent back, which, you know, no biggie. It's just going to have to sit there. I couldn't do it right away. The only problem is I had already pulled the drills for that one. I hadn't taken them out of their bags, but I was like, okay, well, I'll just work on the other one. And I started to, and I was like, wow, this looks so different than I thought it was going to look. Like, I thought this was a really dark picture. There's so much brightness. Oh gosh, why is there a yellow? Okay, whatever. Because it doesn't, the canvas doesn't have a picture of the picture on it. And it <laughs> turns out that I was doing the wrong um, drills for it. How did I find out? Well, the one, I was doing the one cat, not the three, but I had the drills for the three cats. Uh, the three cats only has 18 different colors. The one cat has 24. So when I went to find 22, couldn't find it and had a mini panic attack, I was like, oh God, I'm going to have to return this one or, you know, somehow get them to send me, you know, at least the drills. I don't want to wait for them to ship from China because I got this off Amazon with prime shipping. 
Um, and then it dawned on me to look at the bag and I looked at the big bag that all the diamond painting bags were in and it said purple cats and then three. I was like, oh God. So at least I didn't get super far into it, at least. <laughs> Saving gray, silver lining, I really had not gotten super, super far into it. So I haven't pulled the drills off yet. I'll probably do that uh, tonight and I'll clean them off and then I guess go back in with the correct ones. <laughs> Oh gosh, I can't believe I did that. Oh, and I purposely separated them and I labeled them so that I wouldn't make that mistake. But like I said, I pulled the drills because I was like, okay, I'm going to work on the three cats. And then I pulled it out from under the boxes and I had bent it. So I was like, okay, put it back. And I just grabbed the other one. I didn't then grab the bag of drills for just the one cat. And completely my fault if I had actually spent the time putting them in uh, their boxes. This wouldn't have even been a problem because I would have realized pretty quickly that those were the wrong ones. But of course I didn't because I was feeling lazy. <laughs> oh man, the joys. So I haven't decided if I want because I, I did start putting them in containers for the colors that I had done. And I think I might just pull out the three cat and do that one because I'd already labeled, I hadn't put everything in the boxes, but I'd already labeled the boxes and it's such a pain to erase everything you've written and put new ones on. It's just a pain that I really, that I don't want to deal with if I don't have to. And I really, I mean, I was originally going to start with that one, so why not go back and do that one instead, right? So we'll see. Like I said, I'm not, I don't know that I will ever put it up. I don't know that I'll ever even record. I posted a picture of it on my Instagram, and I'll probably maybe post some like progress ones of it, but I'm not, I'm not going to do any YouTubing for it. I've decided that I really kind of enjoy having a project where I don't feel like I have to be performing to a certain level, worrying about whether I'm putting them in wrong. If people notice that I did that wrong, that's crooked, you know, whatever, worrying about voicing it over or, you know, if I get behind, oh gosh, I've got to go record. I mean, I've, I've pretty much given up on my trying to do it every day, and I think that's a good thing at this point because I just don't drill like I used to. And a lot of it is because I've been doing these sped up videos, I have to, you know, record. So I'm actually working on my son's um, custom right now while I'm voicing this one over, which is why I'm not giving a whole bunch of commentary on the colors. But, I mean, I'm looking down. I'm just very slowly, casually working on it. I'm doing 154, the color, which, you know, is, of course, that burgundy brown color, if you know um, what your color numbers are. I've actually had 154 in a whole bunch of pictures. So... Let's see, I'm trying to think, what else has been going on? Not too much. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, Foreign Service Crafters home, I'm gonna see her tomorrow and I'm super, super, super excited. I can't wait to see her and her kids and for my kids to see her kids. Um, her twins and my daughter are pretty much the same age. They're just over, like just barely over four months apart in age. And as they've been getting older, you know, the less that matters. Like I used to give her um, my daughter's old baby clothes. Like if I got expensive dresses, I'd rather give them to her than, you know, some random person. And now that's not really a thing we can do because our kids are, you know, older. And <laughs> they're going to go to... We're going to go to school soon, which I can't believe. Oh, my gosh. I had the school call to make sure that the registration for my daughter was all correct for next year for kindergarten. I'm like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. My baby, my baby is going to kindergarten. Oh, my gosh. My son, when he went, I mean, it definitely kind of shook me, but it it's not like this. And I think a lot of it has to do with I'm like, oh, my gosh, well, you know. 
I still have his sister. She's still a baby. You know, this isn't really, I mean, this is a new season in our life, but I'm super excited for him. He's going to have a great time. I'm going to have more time to myself, <laughs> which of course, I mean, if you're a stay at home mom, you just need a break from your kids sometimes. So I am perfectly happy for him to go off and make new friends, have that independence. Not that my kids are super clingy or anything, but, you know, get away from me. I don't have to, you know, spend all of my time entertaining them and making sure they have everything perfect at all times, taking them to places and play dates and all that stuff, you know, so your kid is socialized. It's just, it's exhausting. <laughs> If you're currently do doing it, if you've done it recently, I mean, I'm sure you totally know what I mean. It's one of those, um, there's a meme I saw the other day that I shared that was like, kid, I love you with my every being, but I don't miss you when you go to bed. <laughs> and I just laughed so hard because it's so true. It's like, oh gosh, it's bedtime. Yes, go to bed, go to bed. Woo, now I have some time to myself. Oh, man, that's why I'm happy my kids will still do quiet time. My daughter will sleep a lot of the time, but my son is pretty good about doing quiet time. It's spring break right now, so normally he wouldn't be home, but he is right now, so um, he'll at least go upstairs so that I can diamond paint while there's still sun, and I mean, I'll do it sometimes while they're watching TV because I'm just right there in the room next to them, which once again would be why I wouldn't um, why I'd have to do a voiceover because you would just hear the TV or me constantly talking to them. And I don't know, I feel, I feel awkward recording when there are other people around. It just, I don't know. It feels weird. <laughs> I just, I feel so awkward. I feel awkward recording even just like this, but you know, you do what you got to do. Oh gosh, there we go. One of my diamonds on the painting I'm doing just popped right out. Oh, once again, these square drills, if they aren't exactly perfect, you got to go back in on them. I actually really need to get a roller. should really get on that. I should just order one off AliExpress for, you know, $2 or whatever it is. I'm so cheap. Whenever I see anything on AliExpress and it's more than like $2, I'm like, oh, I don't want to spend that. I have to remind myself. I'm like, no, that really... That's 15, 20 bucks normally, you know, don't even try and act like you're spending a whole bunch of money on something that costs literally nothing. And that things do cost money. You don't just get everything for free. <laughs> oh, it's hard when you're just super, super frugal. I just don't spend a lot of money on myself. I asked my kids what they wanted to do. Uh, yesterday, and my son said, oh, well, we have to do something for mommy. We'll have to get mommy something. I was like, no, 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 sweetheart. We don't get mommy stuff. We don't spend, we don't spend the money on mommy. We'll spend the money on you guys. And he's like, but you should spend money on yourself, mommy. And I'm like, no, 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 that's, you know, whatever. So, okay, well, we are coming up on the end here once I finish this little section here. So I will say goodbye and I will see you guys for the final video next time. Bye.